So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and as of January 12th, 2021, Microsoft has finally released their beta Microsoft Suite for iPadOS to the public. So now all you have to do is update all of your Microsoft Suite applications and all of the beta testing that I've done in my previous videos, you will now have all of those features. And I wanna go over a couple of big ones real quick, just to wanna highlight them and let you know that, that honestly the Microsoft Suite is now more and more so built for the iPad, but let's get right into it. So like I mentioned, there's three main updates or three main components that was brought on and then probably one more honorable mention that I do wanna bring in. But the very first thing that Microsoft finally brought to everybody for the Microsoft Suite was split view or multitasking for Excel. So back in March of 2020 or May of 2020, I'm sorry, we got split view for Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Outlook, basically all of the main Microsoft Suite apps except for Excel and nobody really understood why. But now we finally have it, so you can have up to three different instances of Excel up at one time. You can edit, move around, manipulate all the different data and move them from sheet to sheet. And then also, you do have the ability to manipulate current pivot tables. Now you cannot actually create a pivot table from the Microsoft Excel application for the iPad Pro, but you can open them, save them, and manipulate them. And also, like I said, save them to your OneDrive, but you cannot actually start a pivot table from scratch on Excel. But like I said, we do get split view for Excel, which is awesome. And I know everybody's been waiting for that to happen. And everybody was wondering why they didn't do it when they released it for all the other Microsoft products. The next one that's actually really cool, which I didn't even know existed or was an update that they were bringing in, is this presenter rehearsal mode, right? And this is for Microsoft PowerPoint. And I don't know if they have it on the Windows side or on the Mac OS side, I haven't even tried it, but they did bring it to iPad. And this rehearsal mode is actually very cool. So it's basically like presenter mode for Microsoft PowerPoint, but it allows you to, just like the name says, to rehearse your presentation to the actual iPad. So you can work on things like pace, rate of speech, right? So it's probably honestly good for me to use that when doing these videos as well, to kind of see exactly how fast I'm talking, how slowly I'm talking, when I'm pausing, when I'm saying um, or but, or you guys, right? So it's, those are all things that this new rehearsal mode will help you kind of take over and again, let you practice for your big presentations for board meetings or pitch meetings or sales meetings, whatever the case may be. So I think that's a fabulous tool to have for Microsoft PowerPoint on the iPad Pro, especially because it's a mobile device. So whenever you're going to a meeting, if you still are, then you can kind of rehearse it on the go if somebody else is driving and be ready to go right when you get to your meeting. And then the third thing that they brought to the entire Microsoft suite was that 13.4 cursor support. Now, I know you guys have been asking for it for a while. Microsoft, I don't know why it took them so long to really adopt it fully. And again, I've been using it for a long time because I've been in the beta software program for a while and I kind of got used to it and got numb to the experience. But now that everybody else is gonna get that 13.4 cursor support, it's gonna be amazing. Because now the mouse is being used as Apple intended it to on Microsoft applications. So the cursor now hovers over different icons and it takes over those icons. The cursor now switches from a pointer to a text editor when you're, when you're hovering over text, right? So, and that comes to the entire lineup. So it's not just Microsoft Word, but it comes to the entire Microsoft Suite lineup for iPad OS. And it's a wonderful thing to see because finally we're able to kind of use a trackpad and a mouse how it's intended to be used, how Apple wanted it to be used on Microsoft applications. So shout out to Microsoft for finally kind of making that transition and making you know us iPad Pro users get more out of our experience with our Microsoft products. And then the last thing I do want to bring up for honorable mention has to be that we finally get keyboard shortcuts, right? We did have some keyboard shortcuts to begin with, like the classic control copy paste, but now we have multiple keyboard shortcuts throughout the system and it's very, very similar to all the different shortcuts that you're used to on Windows and on Mac OS and on any other computer for that matter. So shortcuts being brought over to all the applications is a great thing to have and it's a great honorable mention to throw in there. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to highlight those four main features that was brought out and now everybody can experience them as I have been and as other beta testers have been. And if you guys were waiting for the iPad Pro to be your Microsoft Suite machine, now might be the time, everybody. So definitely keep that in mind. Like I said, all you have to do to update your apps is literally download the apps if you don't have them yet, update them in the App Store, or if you do have them ready, just update them in the App Store and you'll be good to go with that new, I believe it's 2.45 release to the public, guys. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor Paperlike in the description below, especially if you're a OneNote user, right? If you're a OneNote user or even a Microsoft Word user and you use your pencil a lot for handwritten notes, 
check out Paper Life. You will not be disappointed. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Microsoft on the iPad Pro series for more in-depth reviews of each single application. This was just a PSA. I wanted to let you guys know that it was out and some of those features that were brought over. But until next time.